Hello, my name is Melissa Daniels, and this is Strabismus to Stereopsis. And on this channel, we talk all about what it's like to have an eye turn, eyes that are not pointing in the same direction, and amblyopia, um, you call it squint, lazy eye, all these different terms, but the idea is your brain is not using your eyes very effectively. And this channel is all about how to help you have more success, to get your eyes straight, to get yourself feeling more confident and functioning better in your everyday life. Today, I am going to address the big question, should I get surgery before starting vision therapy? I hear this from a lot of people and I really wanna address this because I can see why you know people would be like, oh no, this is how you have to do it. You need to do surgery first and totally get that. I want to offer kind of both sides of the story. I'm definitely not anti surgery or anti-vision therapy, I feel that both are pretty amazing. And so that's why I wanna share my perspective on this. Before we do that, make sure you go over to learn.strabismussolutions.com, subscribe to the weekly newsletter, join this, the free community. We've got a free community over there where you can talk with other people with strabismus that are working on figuring out how to live life with this condition and also make it better. So. That is a great resource for you. You can also sign up for a Zoom call with me or take one of the courses that I offer. So there's a lot of resources if you are feeling stuck or lost and don't know where to go next. Okay, so let's talk about this surgery. I hear from a lot of parents and of little kids or adults and, and they're saying, okay, I, I get it. I, like, I wanna do the vision therapy because if my brain is using both eyes together, then they're gonna stay straight. Like that makes logical sense to a lot of people. But a lot of people say, but wouldn't it be better if we aligned the eyes first so that the eyes are straight and then did the eye exercises to keep them straight? And that, I get it, that is logical and that makes sense to me and maybe there are some cases where that is the answer. And I'm not gonna tell anyone they shouldn't do that. But I wanna, I guess, shine some light on the other side of why I maybe wouldn't do it in that way. And the big reason is, and, and I probably wouldn't have had the same answer a year or two ago before I started working in a vision therapy office, but what I have found is that there are so many people with strabismus with an eye turn that are able to fix that eye turn without surgery at all. Um, you get these kids and they start vision therapy and their eye is clear out here or clear in here, really high angle eye turns. And through vision therapy, they're able to completely control that and have straight eyes all the time. And I was really surprised by that. Um, I fully expected that that wasn't even a possibility and that everyone needed to do vision therapy and surgery combined. That was kind of the attitude that I came into this with. And I was wrong. Um, is that the case all the time? No, definitely not all the time. But especially for somebody who's never had surgery before, if, if, you know, you or your child has never had surgery, many, many times vision therapy alone is enough to get good alignment, good fusion, like all the things, and you don't ever end up needing surgery. I will say that when somebody's had multiple surgeries like I had and then came in into the vision therapy, there's just not as much flexibility in that visual system and or a, an eye turn that is always there, it's always constant, it's not coming in and out, in and out, it's just like always out or always in no matter what, those cases end up maybe needing surgery a little bit more frequently or um, the combination ends up working out. But I would say for most patients, they just end up not needing the surgery at all. And to me, it's like, oh, well, you don't know if that's gonna be you or not. Like, it's kind of a mystery, right? Like, you don't know if your kid or you are going to be the one that goes in and does six months of vision therapy and all of a sudden has this great eye control and it's like a long-term solution and you didn't have to have surgery and cut and rearrange muscles. To me, that's ideal, right? All of us, I think, with any part of our body, want to avoid getting in there and cutting and, and moving things to a place that they, they weren't like meant to be, right? And so... I, in that way, I'm pretty conservative that I say, do the vision therapy first because you don't know if you're gonna be the one that doesn't end up needing surgery at all. So in general, I say give it six months at least, but in six months, you're going to know. And I know that sounds like forever, 
but strabismus is a lifelong deal, right? You are, you, th this isn't like going anywhere anytime soon. Like, and, and if you want a long-term solution, you don't want to have to keep having surgeries over and over and then have a surgery and then fix it with another surgery and then fix it with another surgery. Just do it the right way the first time. Start with the vision therapy, see what happens, right? Like this, we don't know. I can't tell you exactly what's gonna happen. It's, you know, part of it's how hard are you gonna work? Are you doing the home exercises? Are you working with the right kind of optometrist? Like there's, there are definite things that are going to affect and like these factors that are going to affect the outcome. But if you get in with a good office and you're doing your home exercises, you're going to know within six months how effective it's going to be. And if you end up having surgery and combining those two things together, Great, but in my opinion, starting with vision therapy is is almost always the answer um, and always the route that I would go if it was my child, if it was my sister or niece or nephew, right? Like g giving these recommendations to family or friends, like that is what I would tell them because once you have the surgery, those muscles have been cut and rearranged and it just makes things harder. And it doesn't mean it's not possible, like for me, I needed that and I'm so glad I did, did the surgery, but I don't have as much flexibility and that's okay. Like that's, that's just what was possible for me, right? Like I'm not going to have a 10 out of 10 vision and I, I'm totally reconciled to that. Like that's okay, but not everyone's like me. A lot of people have that capability to get to that 10 out of 10 and they don't need surgery to help get there. And so just recognizing that every case of strabismus is so different and so you want to make sure that that you aren't just saying, well, this girl on YouTube, she had to have surgery, so I'm going to have to have surgery or my kid's going to have to have surgery. And that's just not true. Mine is one of the more like it's a more worst case scenario because I had so many surgeries when I was little and, you know, only using one eye. Like there was just all these complicating factors that a lot of people with strabismus aren't dealing with. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Of course, this is my opinion. Of course, you should go and see a great ophthalmologist and a great optometrist and get their opinions too. But I will tell you, almost every ophthalmologist you go to that's an eye surgeon is going to say, vision therapy is a waste of time. It will never work. It can never fix an eye turn. That is what they are going to tell you. And if you go to a vision therapy office, they are probably going to tell you that surgery is going to ruin your vision forever. And I don't think either of those are true. I think that the vision therapy is difficult and expensive. And I agree with ophthalmologists that it's not like a quick solution, right? I, I agree with that. Um, I agree with optometrists that once you cut into those muscles, like you can't go away from that. But to me, sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes that, you know, you take one step back and it takes you 10 steps forward, totally worth it, right? Like, so I think there's like truth somewhere in the middle, but kind of knowing that and then making the decision for yourself or for your child from there. So good luck. If you want to talk with me about this over Zoom or if you need help finding a vision therapist or a ophthalmologist, I would be more than happy to help you with that. You can fill out um, the form at strabismussolutions.com slash findvt or you can sign up for a call with me. You can, all of those links are at learn.strabismussolutions.com. So I know it can be a little bit nerve wracking to try to make these decisions, but just know that there's not like a perfectly right solution. And I say, take the conservative approach first, see what happens, right? You can always, you don't have to make the decision right now. You don't have to make that today. There is plenty of time to adjust your plan as you go. So good luck with that. And I will see you in the next video.